Places, people. Places. Yes, places. Shut your ass up. What kind of is that? you going on a day after the show? What kind of shirt is this? This is called a V-neck. Oh, uh, clearly. A V-neck. <laughs> you like that? Everybody says that. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. Right. Welcome to Live Three Sixty Five Radio. It's Stacy J. I'm Rod Minger. And we are back. It is Thursday, guys. And we're going to hit y'all off with a few things that we're going to talk about real fast. Boom. Ladies, how do you feel about dropping in a man's DM? What do you feel like if a woman, you know, not, you know, he's engaged. But no, no, hypothetically, no. If, I, if a woman jumps into your DM, um, how do you feel about that? I don't mind it. I actually like a, a forward woman. You know, somebody can tell me what they think because I feel like, Sometimes when women crush on guys, especially when it's on social media, mm -hmm. they assume by their engagement on the guy's post that he's going to automatically know. Well, I like his post all the time. I smile face in his post all the time. I share his stuff all the time. And then women will assume, assume like, you know they got a crush. I was like, mm -hmm. you ever heard girls like, if I like one more post, we go together. But like, dudes don't think like that. Yeah, and I don't think like that. But like, you know, sometimes they think what, what women do sometimes, they'll like like 100 pictures, like right. old and new. So, so that's, like, that's, like, that's like the flag, like, hey, I'm trying to get your attention. When okay. you look... And then from that, sometimes the guy would be like, hey, what's going on? But with me, when I, in my time, when I was looking or whatever, I would have preferred the woman that would just sent me a DM like, hey, what's going on? How you doing? My name is blah, blah, blah. I'm from here. What's up mm -hmm. with you? Because like, I love I love a good shot shot. So yeah. I don't mind. I like I like aggression. That's what I was going to ask, What the, the context that they text you. Because I'm saying, you know, it's kind of like I'm thinking I've never done it. But I'm thinking if I was like, you know, I'm going to overthink it. Right. Because I'm going to go. I don't want to come off thirsty. I don't want to come off like, because I know he's probably getting a bunch of DMs anyway. So now you like, you know, how am I going to stand out? Or I don't right. want to sound like everybody else, like, hey, handsome, you know, kind of thing. Right, right, so right. it's like, how do you formulate? Like, what? So, I know every man is going to be different, but I'm saying you said, yeah. hey, my name is such and so. But then every girl might be saying that. No, not necessarily. Uh, some girls just be like, you handsome. And, you know, it's no different than a dude tell you you sexy. You just look at that like, okay, thanks, like, yeah. whatever. But uh, I found the ones that kept my attention that actually came in my DMs and actually maybe we ended up going out were the ones that were engaged in what I had going on. You know, okay. like maybe how I do the lives or how I do like different stories about different stuff and they're kind of like, you know, when I seen this, it remind me of this. And then it starts a conversation. Okay. And then they let the conversation go in its natural direction because the conversation might lead to flirtation. It might lead to that conversation and stop. It mm -hmm. might lead to somebody you talk to frequently, somebody you talk to sporadically. So you just don't know until you do it. Then sometimes you just got to dive in. Like I've seen girls yeah. be like, hey, what, what you doing Monday? Right. And then dad's like, oh, damn, nothing. She's like, well, we should get some drinks. All right, but right, because I've been seeing on social media a lot um, some women that have they're actually about to get married. You mm -hmm. know that they said I took a chance, you know, yeah. and I jumped in and stuff. And you know, maybe I'm old school because social media wasn't out then. I mean, it's been out a long time, but right. I've never. Women got their way of flirting and getting a man's attention, but I'm not like, hey, Rod, you know, right. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm not that person. And so I've been seeing that a lot lately, and because it's 2021, right. I'm like. Could I do that? Could I see somebody and, you know, hit them up? But it's based off kind of like when you think about what we talked about with Tim. You know, am I doing it just because he's physically? I mean, that's and, what it's or am I Or am I just, um, but is it solely that or am I really paying attention? Because there's some that's men different. on Instagram that's like, mm, Yeah, if you, you pay know. attention to what somebody does and you're into what the things that they say. Like, uh, back, I've hit on some girls because of their stories or... I remember hitting on this woman once because she was really, she had really funny stories. They were funny consistently. Mm -hmm. And uh, then she started posting like these relationship quotes. And I was like, oh, that's kind of funny. So then I kind of started responding to them. Like, oh, that's funny, blah, blah, blah. And then one of them kind of triggered us into a conversation. Then we, we ended up going on a few dates. Oh, Just right. from that. It didn't even start. It wasn't like, I was like, hey, baby, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, hey, that's funny that you put this in the third. She's like, yeah, this dude said this and this. And she, I was talking, we told like some very graphic stories without even knowing each other. Right. So you don't make a woman look thirsty? Nah, you know, as long as it's organic. You can't you can't send a dude a picture busting it wide open. <laughs> I tell him like, no. what you doing? Like you should come over here and oh. you don't know him. He gonna yeah. be like, oh, right. I, I know I know she on. But nah, if it's like something organic, like let's say like okay, you you got a radio show, right? And then I'm watching your show and you having topics. So if I was trying to be aggressive and really want you to know I know what was up, I just kind of be like, oh, I see your show, man. I like this topic when y'all talk about this that, and the third. 
And then you like I see it, uh, you said you were single, you know, man, maybe we should hang up sometime. Mm -hmm. And then let it go from there. Right. See, that's organic. Versus me saying, hey, you know what I'm saying? What kind of dudes you like? Right. <laughs> Looking stupid. Yeah, and I, I get a lot of, you know, inboxes, and I've, I've only had a couple disrespectful where I had to say, don't you ever <laughs> text me with no stuff like that. So that, that. was capital letters? Yeah. Okay. It was like all caps and stuff. But then I've had people that do that, hey, I think you're beautiful. Um, hey, I just love, 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 you know, what you yeah. stand for and stuff. And I, I don't like being called love online. And I don't like being called sexy. I don't know and beautiful. <laughs> Only because, let me say this, it is a nice gesture, but they all are saying the same thing. Yep. Hey, beautiful. Queen. Hey, queen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, gorgeous. Hey, sexy. Right. And I'm like, hey, thanks. You know what I'm saying? But after that, it's like, where do you go from there? So it's kind of right. hard to dig through, you know. First of all, I don't have time to be digging through all right. of that. And then I'm just used to men doing that. But I was just curious because I have been seeing a lot lately that women... Um, some women were jumping in men's DMs. Yeah. It was actually leading to relationships. Yeah. And a couple, and a couple, I think two people I saw was leading to marriage. So I was just. No, was it, just it definitely can happen. Uh, you know, and then sometimes it can be misleading. That's why you need to be, once y'all start talking and having a conversation, you need to say what's going on. Right. Because sometimes people will be talking with you online consistently and they think y'all have something going on. Oh. Like, I got, you know, I remember when I got engaged, I got a couple of eyeballs. Like, what's, what's going on? But yeah, but it's like, you know, but when I scroll through the messages, it'd be like, you know, I talk about relationships a lot. I talk about sex in my stories. I talk about, you know, old exes and stuff like that. So I talk about things very transparently so I seem uh, approachable like that. And then when I bust out with jazz like that, it kind of caught some people off guard. And I was like, you know. Do you get more action now that you're getting engaged? Uh, nah, nah. It really kind of, uh, it's, it's I, dying I, down. Yeah, it's dying down. Uh, I don't really get anything for real, for real. I mean, some people still ask me the same question. I'm still the same dude. I mean, I'm, I'm still going to give the same advice. I'm still going to have the same opinions. But, you know, I, you never know what the other person is thinking. So I, I could tell with a couple that was like, oh. But, you know, it seemed like when, you know, you get in a relationship or you get engaged, then that's when, you know, you get the side eye, but you also get the people coming out like, what, you know? Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you get people that probably wanted to shoot their shot. And I think it happens for females more than guys. Uh, it's the people that want to shoot their shot but thought they always have time. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people judge you by your circumstance. Like, oh, he always single, she always single. You know, we, we, we'll get some time. You know, mm -hmm. they always think they'll get their time back. They never expect somebody else to jump in. And uh, that's why I told you I'm a big advocate when I tell people when you're in a relationship and you tell people, like, you should be careful with these words, saying, I want to take a break, I want to start over, mm -hmm. uh, I need some space right now, because y'all might have two different perspectives on what that space means. Yeah. Some people are like, I need some space so I can chill and work on my job. Some people space like, oh, I can go ahead and start dating. Yeah. And then if you're not prepared to see somebody go be with somebody else, marry somebody else, sleep with somebody else, end up pregnant by somebody else, you shouldn't say any of those words, because mm -hmm. you need to be specific with what you mean. Okay. And then... To, uh, I thought about this too. Remember um, Valentine's Day weekend? I don't know if you saw it, but Michael B. Jordan had gave Lori Harvey um, a stock, a certificate of stock right. for her means, right? Okay. I thought it was awesome because when you, you know, how we talked about Valentine's Day, right. and I'm uh, not a Debbie Down. All I'm saying is that, you know, love is every day. Yep. But I thought that was an awesome gift because it's in a, a gift of an investment and not depreciation. Right. So, you know, candy is cool, flowers is cool and everything. Right. But when you think about that, the flowers die, you eat the candy up, right. whatever. You may get a gift or something like that, but to give a gift like that, that is something that is so, you know, I say priceless or, you know, her means ain't no joke, right. you know what I mean? So <laughs> I'm sure he didn't buy her $1,000 worth of it. I'm right. sure he didn't put, I didn't see the number, but he put, you know, a nice amount into it. Right. I think those are great gifts. Yeah. Um, maybe everybody's not fortunate enough to do that, but it can be something, a gesture that's more of an investment because if you're buying something for Valentine's Day, unless you met a week before, right. you, you would want it to be something meaningful. Something meaningful, something that stands out, something you'll remember. Yeah, I, I, like that. I, I like that as well because I was like, man, you know, give me an LLC, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, help me get the radio show, you know, monetized and all right, this right, kind right. of stuff. I just think right. those gifts are different, but as you you're embarking, well, you're not forty yet, but you're almost. Young. I'm getting there. This great, this great, this great is already forty, but the rest of me is thirty-seven. No, this thirty-seven. It's like a peekaboo. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Then maybe so forty, it'll be like, hello, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm here. So with with you, you know, embarking on forty, um, mm -hmm. and you're not dating now, but I'm saying be, right before you were, like, do you? see it as women are more aggressive when it comes to uh, now they are because uh, I think it's different reasons different circumstances for different people some people spent their 20s with the same guy mm -hmm. so 
they don't really like getting back into the dating game. Uh, you got those women, and then you got the women that every relationship has crashed through their twenties and their early thirties, and now they're picking on forty. Now they're like, let me go and shoot my shot with somebody I was thinking about, but I ain't actually tell them. Mm-hmm. Then you got those women, and then you got the women that are their whole circle of friends are getting married. So now they're tired of being, they can't go to the club by themselves. Uh. So now then the friends that are getting married, trying to hook them up with the fiance or the husband's homeboys. Yeah. And then you go, so it's like, it's, it's different circles of it. Then you got girls that's like, F it, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I ain't yeah. dating no more. I hate that. So it's, it's, a, it's a big group. But I tell people all the time, like, you can't judge your relationship circumstance off the, the results of the last one. Because relationships are love and war. Uh, like we talked about with uh, Tim. The love and war, and they're risky. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a gamble every time. Every time you date somebody's a gamble. I don't care how cute nobody looks online, how, how cute they post. Anybody can have a weak time that shuts them down, and then mm-hmm. they have to start over. Yeah. It's just a risk. It's gambling. Your relationship is a gamble every single day. Yeah. Every day could be the day that leads to y'all not being great for yeah. a while or forever. Yeah. So it's a gamble. And then, you know, so, you know, don't think just that people are smiling and taking pictures online that every day is just, like, awesome. Every, like, it's not like that. But I also saw, I posted this too, because, you know, when you find something good, it said, um, uh, basically, people that are used to toxic relationships will look online and think everybody else is fake. Now, true, we don't know what goes on behind right. closed doors, but if you've been in a lot of toxic relationships, you don't really know what a healthy relationship looks like, right. so everything could look fake to Correct. you, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now, granted, it, it may be. But that's why, you know, it's like you got to really work on yourself and, and be your own individual because now everything like they ain't that happy. You know, yeah. they taking all those pictures unless you know them personally. However, yeah. when you you want to be careful that you haven't been in so many toxic relationships that Correct. you couldn't recognize a healthy one if it was slapping you in the face. Correct. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's very fair because that does happen. You get somebody all they're used to is drama and fussing all the time. If y'all not doing that, they feel like y'all not a good place. And then you can't judge how people are. Now, some people do oversell. Mm-hmm. You know, I see people do that. They do stuff for marketing. Oh, it looks good online. It's, it's good for numbers. It's good for YouTube, things of that nature. And then you got some people that are genuinely like that. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I have some friends now that I hang with them twice a week. They've been married for five years. And when I tell you, they're all over each other. Like, love, super lovey dovey, mm-hmm. super affectionate all the time. But they don't post anything. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. They don't post anything. But in real life, that's how they are. Well, you have, I have people that I know, they are in relationships, and they're kissy face all the line, kissy face in their videos, kissy face in their stories, mm-hmm. and then you go around them in person, and they're barely in the same room. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, some people do put on for show, then, but you just, it's it's not your place to judge or care. Yeah. So, you just and that's why you take gotta, what it is. And you gotta Mind be careful with that, because when you, you know, partner with somebody in relationships, I think, you know, having a YouTube channel, or whatever y'all doing, clothes and stuff, I think it's awesome. Yeah. However, you know, if it goes wrong, you got to be mentally and physically prepared to either cut the ties or if y'all going to keep faking it till y'all make right. it. Maybe y'all don't need to be together and just make it a business. That's why I learned is you got to be careful when you have your mate as your partner in something because maybe that's just for you guys to do separate or whatever. I'm not saying it yeah. won't work, but, you know, sometimes it can get very awkward um, and then it can hurt the actual project that you're doing. Watch the Wendy Williams movie on Lifetime. Oh, really? It was it ex- good. It would explain that part to you. Oh, wow. Yeah, very much so. Oh, and the uh, Whitney Houston documentary that came out in 2018. Another? Oh, I right. Seen it, but oh. I, just, I was on the ship, so I'm just seeing it for the first time. Oh, week. okay. I was like, whoa. So Ghosting. Why? Because here's my thing is that you have some men, I don't mean like you met him, he gave you a number, y'all talked two times, right. he's ghosted. He's had full conversation. This ain't happening to me, y'all. But <laughs> you've had conversations with him. He sounded interested. He talked the talk. And besides just going, he's full of shit. Oh, but no. I'm saying he talked the talk, but then he ghosts. And I'm thinking, why don't men just say, hey, I'm not interested? I don't know. I think that's that way. I think, so I've had this conversation a lot. I think that's one of those things where your actions speak louder than words. Yeah. If somebody's not calling you, not talking to you, they don't want to talk to you. Like, right. But I think women with emotion, they want some type of explanation for everything. That's why you see some women are still mad with guys they broke up with years ago. Because mm. they're like, why? Why? I need an explanation. I just don't understand. We were good. Mm-mm. Some t- the actions speak louder than words. If, if you got a certain amount of time goes on, you have to communicate with somebody in the way that you need for your spirit and your soul. Mm-hmm. Those, those are the words that you need. They're not going to be the person that you need them to be. Yeah. You need to go with somebody that wants to talk to you consistently, somebody that wants to see what's going on with you, somebody that wants to see how your day is going, somebody that wants to plan stuff for you. If they're talking to you and then they just disappear, then they pop up, then they disappear, 
Apparently, they're not that interested. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, and I add, add that because um, I was talking to someone and they brought that up and right. they were talking about ghosting. And I'm like, I don't want nobody that don't want me. So we can been talking for three weeks, but I'm watching your behavior and your pattern. Correct. So if you, you know, we talk here and you're like, yeah, I can't wait to see you and I can't wait to do that, but it never happens. After a while, I'm like, fade to black for me because um, actions, because love is an action. It, it is. is not a feeling. And it's not words. Yes, because we oftentimes feel like love, like, oh, my God. And I've been there. But yeah. now I'm like, oh, it's an action because if I love you, you'll see that through my Action. actions and Correct. stuff like that. So I was like, ghosting. Yeah, I'm not saying, I'll take that back. I'm not saying I haven't been ghosted because I've exactly those situations where right. the man has been like, oh, this, this, and that. And then you don't talk to him. And for me, that's like, okay, then we ain't going to talk. Is there a time frame on ghosting, though? Because is it really ghosting if y'all knew? You know what I mean? Like something that you just like, like what? I met like, you and then I you met you him. and we talked a couple of times and then we stopped. Like is that ghosting? It depends. Like if we're just talking just like just just randomly, that's not a problem. However, I'm talking about the man that set, sounds like he has plans, like I want to get to know you, um, when we gonna hang out, when right. we gonna do this, and then he does not show up. To me, that's just clear that's clear as crystal to me. But I know that some women do be like, because they like them for whatever reason, and they want to talk to them, and then right. they try to keep prolonging it. And I'm like, if they not checking for you, boo, it's a fade to black for me. That's it. That's it. End of it. End of story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, thank you for tuning in. We just want to jump in, have a little conversation, because we talk to a lot of people, and they email us, and, you know, they be like, what about this? What about that? So make sure that if you want us to talk about something that's specific or, you know, comments, suggestions, and all that, email us at listenlive365 at gmail, or hit us up on live365.radio on Instagram. We'd be happy to talk about it, you know, because we want to help people, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're here for. We want to empower, okay? So we will check you out next week, same time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Live 365 Radio. Download that app. Experience on demand, XOD on the Apple Play Store, on the Google Play Store. Download, stream us, take us with you. You know, we want to see what you guys are doing. So, thank you guys. See you next week.